So who is Imran Khan? Why is he so divisive? And why is politics in Pakistan in such chaos right now? First off, let's run through Imran Khan's backstory. He was born into an upper-class family in Lahore and went to an elite high school. He studied at Oxford University in England, but it was his cricketing career that made him into a superstar. In 1992, he led Pakistan to his first and only World Cup victory and then retired from the sport. He's easily the greatest Pakistani cricketer of all time. A very glamorous cricketer too. That glamour, of course, brought him to the attention of, uh, of high society in London. In the early 90s, he was hanging out with rock stars and royalty and married a British aristocrat. But he was also getting into charity work and raised money to open a cancer hospital in Lahore in memory of his late mother. Here's a cricketer, a public icon, trying to provide free cancer care in a country where this was not accessible uh, for most people. And that then translated into a conversation he had about um, the role of corruption, improving governance, and then his entry into politics. In 1996, Imran Khan launched his own political party, Pakistan Tehrike Insaf, which means movement for justice. He styled himself as an outsider on an anti-corruption mission. But his political career didn't really take off until 2011. That's when he held two rallies in Lahore and Karachi. Tens of thousands of people showed up. He was promising to bring a new kind of politics to Pakistan. And seven years later, that message helped him get elected as prime minister. I pledge to you that, inshallah, inshallah, this will be a different kind of Pakistan governance. Now, until Khan came on the scene, Pakistani politics was dominated by two parties and two families. The Bhutto family, which is linked to the PPP, and the Sharif family linked to the PMLN. That's the party of the current prime minister, Shabazz Sharif. For years, the two sides have been alternating in power, a pattern that Khan was determined to break. 